Hi guys, I'm uh, going to tie a really simple uh, pike fly. Goes for an entry level sort of pike fly, but also an entry level for people who are, who are starting to tie pike flies. So, you don't have to go and buy really fancy hooks or whatever. You can get bulk packets of hooks if you're going to lose a lot of them and mess a lot of them up as you start off with. So this is a size 4 fish eagle. Uh, it's a good strong sharp hook, it's probably a sea hook but it'll do plenty good enough for starting off for pike flies. So uh, get yourself a spool of pike tying thread, some description. And as I said there's going to be very little actual tie to this fly so put on your tie and thread and super glue it to hold it in place. You'll need a hank of some sort of flash. So, simplest thing. This is uh, crystal herb. You get flashy boo or something like that there. Double that bunch over. You'll end up here with a loop then. And just cut that. And then misalign that slightly. So you'll end up with a little bit of a taper at this end. And put this out to whatever length you want. So I suppose if you're starting off something around about 5 or 6 inches would probably do you. Fold this bit back and wrap into it. You can even wrap over it if you want, but if you wrap into it, uh, into the back of it there, and just super glue it, it'll kind of sit out and give you a little bit of bulk. So, uh, let's get you out a little bit so you can maybe see what we're at. So, as you can see, we've sort of the basic shape of a fly to start off with. To tie this fly, what we're going to use is this is like a silver weed. So you got, and you'll get these down at the market or uh, a local sort of hair shop. Take a bunch that'll make a, a fly. So, roughly the length ish, maybe a little bit over the length of the fly that you want to, to tie. do here is just hold the bunch by its tips, pull the other out by the base and I'm sort of throwing them back at their cells at slightly different lengths and what I'll end up with is a bit of a taper and also the bunch will be longer than we started off with because it's uh, some fibres have been pulled this way, some have been thrown that way. Okay, What you want to get, set that out Tie in about what 60% along its length. Tie across the middle of it there. As you can see, it's assuming that sort of teardrop shape. Put a few turns, good tight turns there. Um, and then this bunch here, just flare it out and fold it back on itself. Take your tie insult to the front of that there. Now I'm just going to pinch that so that it holds the shape of like a wedge and then I'm going to just get super glue to soak in to the front of the tie-in. Once that's set, as you can see, we have that sort of bait fish profile in one bunch. Now, I'm going to take then a red wig and take out a little bunch of this here. Quite short, maybe two inches, three inches, something like that there. Same thing, a little bit of miscellaneous, and then I'm going to flip the fly over, tie that across its middle, right here at the front, fold it back, and 
that'll give us the sort of red throat. A strike indicator is such our striking point for our toothy friends. And then we'll just again a little bit of super glue just to set that in place. So that is the tying of the fly. So we have ourselves a little silver bait fish with a red throat. So we we'll stick some eyes on it now. So you can use uh, Evo Stick Serious Glue or something like that is probably the easiest way of putting them on. Or you can put them on, if you see some of my other videos, where we put them on with uh, stuff like uh, epoxy or uh, even light curing epoxy, UV cure epoxy. So you can just put a blob of Evo Stick Serious Glue on that. Now if we take one of these 3D eyes, stick the lip of it into that there, and let it set. You can just wet your finger push lips of that glue back and that should hold those in place. As I said, simple fly, but uh, it'll get you started in pike fly tying with what? One, two, three, four materials essentially and some hooks. So uh, give it a throw. Uh, if you like what you see, like and subscribe. There are more complicated flies in the playlists and uh, I said we shall see you again. And for now, thanks for watching.